Why can't I not be there? I hate COVID. <laughs> What's up, Elvis? Elvis? <laughs> Yo, Shaggy Sting, I'm so sorry. And let me just state for the record, COVID, you can suck my butt. I'm so mad at this. Yeah. <laughs> Sting's face was just great when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sting. I've been drinking a lot of this Mucidex, so it's really kind of catching up with me. Uh, thank you guys for coming down the shore. Can we just have a moment to celebrate this new album? This album is so much fun. And I, I don't know, my face hurt by the time I tracked the whole thing, guys, because it was so fun. Thank you for this album. Thank you very much. I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Elvis. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a different. It came out of craziness. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but I, I was very confident that Shaggy could sing these songs, and I'm, I, I've been proved right. I think I love the fact that, Sting, you said people just need happiness right now and something fun, and this album is definitely This it. album makes you smile, and the world needs without, a smile right now. Oh, yeah. Without doubt, without doubt. So, so, Shaggy, when Sting looked at you and said, hey, you should do an album of Frank Sinatra songs. Did you look at him like he had three heads, or did you go, Hell oh, yeah. hey, let's blow it. <laughs> well, he was drunk as well. <laughs> okay, that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we were just on a, it's a day off, man. We were just having fun, and then he, you know, I kept singing these songs, because in Jamaica, we're raised on these. You know what I mean? And on Sunday, you know, this repertoire works with chicken and rice. It's a Caribbean thing, you know what I mean? Nat King Cole, uh, you know. Uh, Bing Crosby, of course, Frank Sinatra. So I was, I was familiar with it. So I'm singing, and he's like, dude, that's, that's your key. That's you. <laughs> yeah. We should do this. How funny. How <laughs> wild. I gotta say, Luck Be a Lady is my favorite. Oh, oh that's I my love God. Hey, is I it? love that. That's, that's my favorite. It was so good. So good. Guys and dolls in the house. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, I mean, if, if not Sinatra, like, okay, l let me just jump ahead a year or two. Who's next? I mean, I, I know we want to we want to, we want to focus on Sinatra now, but who could be next, Ding? What I do you think? think? He's going to do an opera. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just thinking we was going to do tights. some. We was just going to do what? Sting Sting covers. Yes. Oh. In Calypso. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. You know, ever since the last album, the album you guys did together, which was just phenomenal, Danielle and I were just talking about how much we Morning loved that album coming, too. Morning is coming. Our favorite. Morning you know, is coming. Yes. Morning My is coming. <laughs> It's yeah, just it's incredible lovely. how you can you can you can you can cross into a different lane, and it makes it music so interesting and so so fun. It, it, and it it wakes it up and makes it something different. And I, I love how you guys are doing that. I think that's that's something more musicians and artists should do. Well, you know what? I think we are allergic to boredom. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You know? And so we always try to find something that. Uh, what do you say? The element of surprise. Ele that's the most important element in music is surprise. You have to surprise people. Surprise yourself. You know? Yeah. And so we always we always look for that and, and just to put smiles on people's faces and enjoy. Well, I know yourselves. you guys. You had a big party at the Blue Note. Uh, was it last night? Last, last night. Yeah. We're and still I was recovering. <laughs> I, I, I bet I couldn't make it. I was invited. I wanted to be there, but I have COVID. So yeah. Yeah. that. Yeah. It really sucked. How was the party, and how was it being a, on the stage and performing the songs? It was lit. <laughs> yep. It was lit. Full house. Uh, you know, these songs are songs that everyone knows. You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of the soundtracks of our lives. And, and to hear them this way uh, with a reggae style, you know, everybody was just in the vibe. So did the Sinatra family know you guys were doing this? And, like, have they heard it? What have they said? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but we're here in Jersey, so oh, yeah, okay. it's a perfect yeah. place for it. You know? That's right. There you go. Perfect. There's his surprise. The element of surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell everyone listening that uh, I don't know how far you drove for this, Shaggy. I know Sting came 90 minutes just to join us at the shore, and we appreciate oh, wow. it very, yeah, we're, very, we're, very yeah, much. Yeah, we were both in the city, so it was, it was that. Kind of a drive. <laughs> but you know, you got a fun audience out here. Everybody's oh, yeah. lit. The bar opened an hour and a half ago, so God wow. only knows what's going to happen. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's extra lit now. Yeah. <laughs> it's extra lit. <laughs> we have the Coco Yak maybe in the, in the house. Oh, yeah, that'd be some great. Coco Yak. <laughs> we're, we're actually so, bringing that back, so it's great. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of artists, of course, uh, were shut down during uh, the pandemic and all that crap. Yeah, but a lot of them came out the other end with all new ways of thinking about their craft and their art. Can you guys address that? I mean, are you? Do you think you're doing things differently today than you would have had we hadn't had that 
two-year hiatus? No, but I, I think to, to walk on stage now in, in front of a live audience makes me so grateful. I just, I just love being yeah. on stage. And yep. It's great to see people smiling faces and, you know, yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, it's, 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 it's good. You, you realize not to take that for granted. Yeah. You know, and one thing COVID did do was um, allowed us to actually make a lot of music. Because we did do yeah. quite a few, quite a lot of music. We worked. Yeah, we worked through the whole thing. Wow. So I guess we could call you, just like a, 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 the, the police, just like people working in hospitals, just like everyone who is on the front line, truckers keeping our company, our, our country running. You guys were in the studio, or you were together, yeah. you are collaborating. Yeah, we were front line workers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we were helping out. Yeah. Here's it's some music important. for you guys. <laughs> And, you know, and, and like we said earlier at the beginning of this, this album, this new album, it, it makes you happy. And this is a world that needs happiness, especially of late. But it, as soon as we start to bounce back and feel the sunshine again, something else is going to happen, and we're going to need this album again. So with that, thank we you. thank you for this gift. <laughs> thank Absolutely. you, Elvis. Thank you. So, Danielle, when you sat down and listened to this album, yeah. what, what were you thinking? Because I, I know you were the first uh, on our show to hear the whole thing. Yeah, so I didn't know what to expect at first. I was like, yeah. what is this going to be like? And I have to say, not just me, who's almost 50, my 16-year-old son uh, loved every minute of it. Uh, we, this weekend, well, coming down here, we cranked the windows down, and we listened to it, and it's just like you said, Sting. It's a breath of fresh air, yes. and it's something we needed, and Thank it'll you. make you smile. And I think that you can enjoy it, whether you're an old person, a young person, whatever. It's something for everybody. And the thing is, on paper, it looks really weird. I, <laughs> I could understand where you're like, I got to hear this. Yes, but it's, it's really good. <laughs> but it really came yeah. out good. Just so you know, it looked really weird on paper, too. When he said it to me. I bet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did we lose Shaggy's mic? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, uh-oh. There we go. All right. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you know, these a, mics are, it these mics are dropping one at a time. Yeah. Hey, but Sting, as Sting hands his microphone to Shaggy, <laughs> I asked Sting a question. Yeah. Are you still out on your, uh, on your, your My Songs tour? Yeah, I'm about to go to Vegas next week for a three-week uh, passage, and then I head back to Europe. But I'm just so happy to be working again. It's fantastic. Love it. There's something magical about a collaboration. I mean, I, I will tell you, you know, Sting, my very first concert I ever saw was The Police. When you came out on stage and you were eating pineapple. I don't know if you remember those days. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, but, you know, the collaboration with the guys from the band, I mean, you know, that, that was the beginning of your life of collaboration. And now you're collaborating with Sting. I mean, with Shaggy. Shaggy's collaborating with you. I mean, is it, is it better to have a partner these days? Well, I mean, this is based on a friendship. You know, Shaggy and I got on like a house on fire from the moment we met. We're like brothers. And uh, I just, I love his company and we just have fun. All right? Absolutely. We can all obviously hear that, right? Shaggy, are you working now? I'm, I'm, I'm up. I'm back up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I know, I know during, a, during the lockdown, I actually sent a text to, to uh, Shaggy, and he was at a house party with like four of his buddies. I don't know where you were. I think you were in the Caribbean, maybe Jamaica somewhere. Do you remember that? Yeah, uh, I was in the Caribbean, you know, having a good time there, Elvis. <laughs> I know. It was very smoky. I think he had a barbecue going. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 do, I, I do a lot of things in my spare time. That's one thing COVID allowed me to do. I was doing laundry, <laughs> folding yeah. laundry. I was, I was doing a bunch of things. Wait, did man. you know how to do laundry before COVID? I knew I was in the military for four oh, years. That's right. you know, okay. So I'm really, really good at all of that. But I stopped. <laughs> you know, when you, when you stop being successful, you stop cooking, you stop, everybody does all these things for you. Right. And then COVID happened and you're like, uh. oh, wow, I'm really good at this again. I started <laughs> doing things. I was really picky with all my recipes and I was going through everything. It was, it, it was lovely. He's doing my laundry now. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask, yeah. Sting, when's the last time you put shirts in a washing machine? Never. <laughs> okay. <laughs> COVID didn't affect him the same way it did me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why waste time washing a shirt? It's just a waste of water. Well, look, uh, I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, we're all so excited. Who's excited to see Shaggy and Sting on one stage? I mean, so excited. Great it's audience, silly... these guys. This early, wow. I love it. Well, we're about to light it up. I do believe a performance is on the way. Shaggy, are you going to do it to us? Yes, we are. We're going to do some songs. Why not? Yeah. All right. This is so in the cool. True, uh, 
in the true spirit of Sinatra, do we have like a 50-piece orchestra coming out? I have no. Seen it. <laughs> uh, Elvis, your budget couldn't afford it, man. I was yeah, trying. Sorry about that. Low budget. <laughs> By the way, the studio where you recorded this at the Capitol Building in Hollywood, uh, yeah. the world-famous Capitol Building, uh, years, several years ago, they, I was lucky enough to receive my Hollywood Walk of Fame star, and we had a party Congrats. for me in that same exact studio, yeah. and you can feel the ghosts of Sinatra. You can still smell his cigarettes. <laughs> I mean, there's, still, uh, there's an ashtray that still fills up every night. It's kind of crazy. There's, there's what was port, it like working in, in that iconic, iconic studio? There's a portrait of Frank o over the studio where you work, and he was smiling, I have to say. As soon as Shaggy started to sing, Frank was smiling. So. <laughs> uh, he's watching. He's watching from above or below. We're not quite yeah. sure. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, Elvis. Above, above. Above, <laughs> above of course. Above. So Sting and Shaggy are here. Shaggy's performing for us next. This is going to be unbelievable and totally epic. We'll be back right after this. Elvis Duran in the morning shows jumpstart to summer.